In this problem, we're going to prove that 1 half plus 1 fourth plus 1 eighth plus dot 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 plus 1 over 2 to the n minus 1 is less than 1 for all positive integers n greater than 1. So, you know, the natural thing to do is to use like an induction proof. And we could do this by induction, but in this video, I want to give like a direct proof without using induction because it's just a little bit more elegant. So let's go ahead and go through it. And again, you could use induction, so you can certainly give, uh, you know, a proof by induction of this. And maybe, you know, maybe after I make this video, I'll do that. Uh, but for now, let's give a direct proof. So we're going to start by calling this something. I'm going to call it S. So let S equals 1 half plus 1 fourth plus 1 eighth plus. This is a, a, a trick, and this comes up a lot uh, in mathematics. Uh, you can do this for other things as well. So we're going to call this whole sum S, and the goal is to show that S is um, less than 1. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply everything by one half. And the reason we're going to use one half is because, as you can see, this is a geometric uh, series. And one half is the common ratio, right? So to get from one term to the next, you have to multiply by one half. So let's multiply by one half. So we have one half s, and that's equal to. And then now we'll multiply each of these by one half. So this will be uh, one fourth plus one eighth plus 1 16th, plus dot, 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 plus, and then this would be um, 1 over 2 to the n. So 1 over 2 to the n. Good stuff. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to subtract. So let's subtract. So we have s minus 1 half s. So if you subtract these, you'll get s minus 1 half s, and that's equal to and then check this out. When we subtract top minus bottom, we have 1 half minus, there's no 1 half here, so we have a 1 half. And look at this. Boom, 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 boom. You don't see it because it's there. And then um, you're left with um, this one cancels with this one you don't see. And so you're left with this minus 1 over 2 to the n, right? So we're subtracting vertically. You see I've crossed it out. Um, so the 1 fourths cancel, the 1 eighths cancel. The 1 16th will cancel with what you don't see. The 1 over 2 to the n minus 1 will cancel with one you don't see here. And you're left with this one here, so minus this one. So we're doing top minus bottom. Good stuff. This is really uh, 2 over 2s minus 1 over 2s. So when we subtract that, you're just going to get 1 half s equals 1 half minus 1 over 2 to the n. And then let's go ahead and multiply by 2 now. So when we do that, we'll get s equals, so if we multiply the 1 half by 2, we get 1 minus, and then I'll show the step here, we get 2 over 2 to the n. There's a 1 here, okay? So what you can do um, is you can bring it down if you want, or you can just use properties of exponents. Um, I will bring it down. So this is 1 minus 1 over 2 to the n, 2 to the negative 1, so this is 1 minus 1 over 2 to the n minus 1. And note that we have the number 1, and we're subtracting a number bigger than 1, right? This is a number bigger than 1 because n is bigger than 1. So um, 2 to the n minus 1 is a number bigger than 1 um, because you can do something like this, n minus 1 greater than 0. So 2 to the n minus 1 greater than 2 to the 0, which is 1. If you really, if you really need convincing, um, I think it's obvious, but if you want to convince yourself that 2 to the n minus 1 is bigger than 1, you can do something like this. And then so you know you have 1 minus a number um, that's um, smaller than 1, right? Because you have 1 over a number bigger than 1, so this is less than 1. So this whole thing is actually going to be less than 1 as well. So s is less than 1, and that completes the proof. So yeah, that's it. Really, really cool. Really nice problem. Um, and again, you could do it with induction. I think that might be like a more rigorous approach, but this is really fun, right? This is <laughs> it's fun. It's a great trick. Great, great stuff. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.